And we are live. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Today Tuesday. We have a very nice and interesting topic. Today mm -hmm. we're going to talk about Instagram, but on the IGTV. So I'm not sure how many of you use it. Are you using it? I am. I actually only do videos. Um, I, I mean, I only do like a cover image, but I only really do videos on Instagram. Yeah. So I think this is an amazing tool for you to use. And I think that that's the nice thing about Instagram because they're trying to bring things that works on different platforms. So from them, the IGTV is their answer to YouTube. Reels is their answer to TikTok. And that's a nice thing. It's the same as um, uh, Facebook. They also have the stories and it's all kind of going back together. But we want to speak today about actually why using the Instagram IGTV. Because maybe some of you are not using it and you actually maybe should start thinking about it. So the first one is that, you know, if your target market is on Instagram, so be there, be there, connect with them. And the IGTV is a nice way to connect with them and put yourself out there and share your content, engage with them, ask questions, uh, you know, go live even over there. So that's why it's very important. That's a way to reach out to your target market because they're already there. So why not use it? Yeah, and it's a really, really good way to, for me, what I find is a very good way for me to connect if I, if I know I'm going to connect with those people because I watch their stuff and I'm like, wow, I really feel like I'm on the same page as you and I wouldn't know that otherwise, you know, if they put words of information. Yeah. Yes. The second one is to add more value. And I think it's a kind of a given when somebody is doing a video and they are sharing their knowledge. I mean, that's that's that is definitely added added value. I mean, you give a lot of you add a lot of value to the stuff that you do. You really, really do. Yeah. Thank you. And, and I think that's the nice thing. So and for a lot of businesses, it's not always easy and not everyone goods with maybe writing down and give the value of this. And that's the nice thing with IGTV that you can actually upload videos uh, with a lot of added value. Let people to get actually to know you, which is actually also linked to the next one. You know, use it to build things and be behind the scenes. And wait, there is a comment here. So I'm just going to read it. I would love to get you guys love more work and I find your schedule. Thank first. Thank you for this so much. So what we do that every Tuesday, we're just checking a bit of the timings to see what works better or not. Now, after uh, everyone back from lockdown. So for now, we're doing half past one. We're trying to do maybe four o'clock on um, Tuesday and that's going to be on marketing. And every Friday, 12 o'clock, we're doing about personal development. So please yeah. join us and thank you for this. We love to. But we also were saying we're going to be, or I will do it. I mean, I'll take that on to do the Facebook story um, in the morning as a reminder to people of the podcast. Yes. So you can know it on, as I said, on my big dot consulting page and on uh, shift one degree as well. But if you go back to the topic I was trying to, I was starting to say that the next one is actually, you know, sure behind the scenes. And it doesn't matter what's your business all about. And that's a nice thing to use the IGTV as part of videos and as well to use reels to bring people to know what you do. And it doesn't matter if you, for example, a designer, so share a part of this. If you come from the fashion industry, you can share about this. Even if you do coaching, for example, you can even share like a part of a presentation that you're working on and share what you're working on, you know, or maybe like a sneak peek to your newsletter that's going to uh, come up and running. That's a nice way to share it. And just be, mm. let them be part of the process. If you're having an event, if you get ready for a live one. Even, even for me, aside of that, I believe that people connect with, with people and the business is a second part. That's just my belief. So even with these real conversations with real people, and when I do these, yes, people are, I mean, I put their, their uh, links and their websites and their various things. But the purpose of that is to share the person's story. And by listening to the story, if you resonate with their story, the chances are you're more inclined to do business with them. So that it's your authentic self coming through as opposed to you saying, hey, I'm a dentist and I'm great. Because of course you're great. You're not going to say you're rubbish, right? Because that would be bizarre, you know? So yeah, it's beautiful. exactly, exactly. And the next one is to build yourself as an expert, which is so, so true. When I listen to podcasts about other people and what they do and they share their knowledge, 
they definitely come across as an expert for sure. It is because you know by even us doing this video now, you can listen to us to the tone of our voice. You can see what we're saying, how we're saying it. You can come and even ask questions. And by the way, if you have question on how to use the Instagram IGTV and in general on Instagram, that's your place. Write it this in the comment below, and we're gonna answer. But that's part of it. If you're gonna ask me questions now, and that's the nice thing about a video that I'm giving you the option to get answer now on that spot mm -hmm. and kind of have a discussion with you. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to answer your question. And I'm going to give you something that you can actually start doing and working with. Then you can actually start seeing me as an expert. And maybe you don't need my service right now. But because I'm building myself or you building yourself, and every one of us build ourselves as an expert, when that person is going to need your service, going to need your product, you will be in top of mind because he remembered mm -hmm. you. And that's a nice thing to use the IGTV for, to put videos, to share, to communicate, to engage, for people to see you and get that part which is also linked to the next tip about basically improve your engagement, you know, by having a video. Now I'm asking you questions. If you have questions on Instagram, put it in the comment below. Let me know. I want to answer your question. Uh, what do you think about the tips up until now? Are you agreeing with them? Are you disagreeing with it? Write in the comment below. I'm engaging. That's the nice thing about a video. I'm putting tips. You can say, I like it. I don't like it. I agree. I disagree. And that's part of it. And that's what the algorithm of all social media likes. If people are engaging with you, it means that they're loving your uh, your profile. It means that they are staying longer in that platform. It means they're getting more money. That's what they're trying to do. So if you can get people to stay longer, that's going to benefit you as well as the business, but also that platform, like, for example, in this case, Instagram. So just use it. But also, there's nothing better than when somebody posts something and you watch it or you read it or you listen to it and you go, wow, I love that. I love that. And immediately I will comment and I will share it. And yeah, you definitely, you get people engaged, which then ties into the next one, which increases your followers, which is your potential clients. And again, I'm not at all, and I know you feel the same way. I'm not at all attached to that. Whenever I do these real conversations with real people, like I did, I did one yesterday afternoon or yesterday morning. And the first thing that Hetty said to me, she's a jeweler. And the first thing she said to me was, what can I do for you? How can I help you grow your business? Would you know, is it about getting more clients? And I was like, this isn't about that. It's not about me. It's a by default. If by default, my business grows through, that's fantastic. But it's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I really want to connect with people and build this community of like-minded people. So I think it also depends on, are you attached to the outcome or not? And I fully agree. And that's the thing, like people have this tendency to chase after likes and after followers. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, it doesn't pay the bills. Keep reminding mm -hmm. it to yourself, it doesn't. You want to use it to, you know, engage, build community, like you said. And I'm a big believer in that. And that's the thing. So if you use this um, videos by you being an expert, by using different hashtags in it, you can bring more people, new followers. But don't look at them as just as a new followers. That's why I said it's a new followers. That means there are more potential clients for you. And that's what you're trying to get, to get more potential clients that you can actually convert them at one point to paying clients and that's the thing but if you do if you use social media and you use it a smart way and do it in organic marketing as a part of a community and not chasing that you're going to be surprised how many people will come and start saying like i want to work with you at, at a minute and wait we have a comment here i'm brand new in social media so i don't even know what to ask that's like this uh, video c but tell me what you think about it. But you know, that's the thing. Why you need to ask yourself, okay, why are you using your social media? What's your business about? What are you trying to get out of it? What is the type of community that you're trying to build? And, and you know, but also, I think also what resonates with you, you know, I mean, some, it does, something does have to, I mean, as we've spoken about before, I mean, I've been on LinkedIn since the cows came home and even before the cows came home. And I can tell you, I don't even know why. I think I'm too attached. I'm too fearful to go off it. It does nothing for me. It's not my platform. It's not where I'm meant to be. I don't even know why I'm on it. I should just close the account. But for some stupid reason, I keep it open. So it doesn't resonate with me. It just doesn't. So again, yes, social media and the right platform, but it also has to resonate with who you are and what you're about. And I think, by the way, as, as for you, if I'm going to speak quickly on LinkedIn, so by the way, I don't know if you saw the new feature of the story. I actually have a video on this that I'm going to post there tomorrow. So there's a new feature on LinkedIn. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> See, now it's something new. But the thing is that, you know, a LinkedIn, for example, it's a platform that it's nice to have as part of your CV. Okay, so people mm. will you. What I use, for example, LinkedIn for, uh, and that I know it's out of the topic for a second, but I use it to promote my YouTube videos or like some of my courses. So I use mm. it for very tactical things. So I use certain groups for tactical things. It doesn't necessarily mean that my clients are there, but that's a way for me to expose it to different type of people and put True. myself out there. Because um, as individuals, I could be other or people that may be thinking of they want to start a business, but they're not sure, but there's so much stuff. Yeah. But I'm, I'm taking in my consideration that, you know, LinkedIn is more for people that works in corporates, in companies. Yeah, and or entrepreneurs, it depends on which industry and which companies you're trying to reach out as your target market, but yes. Also, um, I did my accredited facilitators writing course and part of getting my accreditation, they wanted a CV. And I literally went, I mean, I've only ever been self-employed, so I've never had a CV, I'll be very honest. So I went onto my LinkedIn profile and I literally copy and pasted that. And I was like, there you go, you know, that was it. So it is, it's a CV. So if people need a CV, they go to LinkedIn. So I agree with you, that's the purpose of it, in my case, yeah. And it is, and for you, like, and, and as I said, like, when you, even you bring you to social media, understand what you're trying to get out of it, okay? Try to think it in mind. And IGTV is just one of the many tools and that's the nice thing. But if you're talking market and if, before we're going to sum it all up, but if your target market is actually in on Instagram, so use it and use it the right way and benefit the most out of every feature that the platform has got to offer. Um, so just before we go sum it up, I'm just giving a reminder. Every Tuesday we're talking about marketing. Yes, we're playing with the time, so just stay with us and watch on uh, Big Data Consulting and Shift One Degree to see the, the timing. Every Friday it's on personal development. Now we're just gonna sum it up. So why use Instagram IGTV, which is the video part of Instagram? So first, if your target market is there, just be there. Find that's your way to connect with them. And to add more value. And just share behind the scene, let them know who you are, be part of it. And then to show yourself as an expert. And by that, you're also improving the engagement because that's what you're trying to get. Engagement, engagement, engagement. Not likes, not followers, engagement. And therefore more potential customers, yeah. Yes, and think about it. How you actually can reach out to more people that are part of your target market, that they are your potential clients, you're engaging with them, and by that, you will convert them to actual clients. Yep. So we're going to say thank you for it. And if you guys have questions, please feel free to message us on a direct message. Mm -hmm. We're more than happy to answer or in the comment below. And we'll see you on Friday. See you Friday. Bye. Mm -hmm.